Today, Jeff and I are going to all NBA player owned restaurants and the top restaurants that NBA players go to to see which one is the best. And we are starting at Shaq's restaurant, Big Chicken Shack. <laughs> we'll get the popcorn chicken and the Shack attack. Look at this. Shack sauce, Carolina mustard barbecue. They look the same. I'm kind of judging it based on how empty it is right now. You gotta remember, this is next to a Shake Shack. They chose maybe the worst location they possibly could have. So this sandwich is the Shack attack, but apparently Shack's favorite is the popcorn chicken. So that's where we're gonna start. Ooh, dude, it smells so good. I really like that. That is great. Try with the sauce. Dude, surprisingly. Great. Really, really good. This reminds me of Dave's Hot Chicken, if you guys have been there. Do you think Shaq based this restaurant on food that he actually enjoys? I feel like everyone enjoys fried chicken, except for vegans. Which I have, yeah. I don't want to go crazy, but these might be the best popcorn chicken fast food I've ever had. Oh my god, this thing is big. Sandwich cheers. I'm not feeling the slaw quite as much. Overall, I think it's good. It's just the slaw kind of like... I really like the chicken. There's a little cheese on it. There's jalapenos to add a little kick of spice. I do like that the chicken kind of comes out yeah. of the bun. This easily clears Chick-fil-A and Cane's. You're in a really good mood right now, and I'm really about to bring you down. Look down at your shirt. When you eat, this is the worst thing that could happen. You know, I'm going, I, I don't like this spot no more. <laughs> All right, we're on to the next spot. Two words to describe Jack's Chicken Shack. Surprisingly delicious. Freaking awesome. We are tiering it based off taste, everything including the price. What tier are you putting Shack's Chicken Shack on? I am putting Shack's Chicken Shack at A tier. I am putting Shack's Chicken Shack at S tier. S tier? I thought it was incredible. That's basically a Michelin star from James. That was like my first time I moved fried food in yeah. six months, so maybe it's I'm like biased, flavor. but that was... <laughs> <laughs> all right, maybe I'm jumping the gun. This is the first restaurant of the yes, video. It's very early. All right, all right, we'll settle for eight here. Jeff and I have changed clothes because we are headed to Nobu. That's what they say about me these days. <laughs> Nobu. <laughs> they got all kinds of food there. Jeff, have you been to Nobu? Yes. Tell us what we need to know about them. Food is very good, very high quality, and very expensive. Right? Jeff, this was thirty-four dollars. Nice. One of our most expensive meals of the day, probably. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of caviar. We get a little bit of salmon, some sauce, and I'm just gonna eat it. I really like the caviar. Wow, there's so much flavors. I feel like the sauce is like a soy, like wasabi blend or something like that. Spicy, a little punch in there. Yeah, a little punch. Yeah, I can see why NBA players like to eat here. I don't eat caviar much, but when I do, it's so, so good. $34 is kind of crazy. On a special like, occasion. On a special occasion. We did get sake. It's the best sake I've ever had. Sweet. Jeff and I, we got little tacos too. These were $9. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Those are really good. Dare I say, one of the best tacos in LA. Somewhere hidden in here is a steak, Jeff. Steak pieces already Ooh. cut up for us. Get some uh, onion. That is so freaking good. Perfectly cut. Sauce is great. Texture is great with the grilled onions. I'm in heaven. James going through a whole journey in his head right I'm now. going through heaven. Jeff, I'm so happy right now. Normally I would complain about small plating sizes. I love the portion size. I'm messing with it too, but it was $54. Jeff, what did you think of Nobu? Amazing. The food was great. Price not. Nobu's incredible, bro. The food is absolutely amazing. It's everything people say it is. It's expensive. It tastes good. It's, it's everything you've heard about it is what it is. Definitely worth trying for a special occasion. Don't go there just to go eat. We are here at the Cheesecake Factory. I love Cheesecake Factory. I don't eat here anymore because there's so many calories in all their food. This bread is probably 20,000 calories. So we're getting Chris Paul's order. He used to order the popcorn shrimp and the teriyaki chicken, but Chris Paul has gone vegan. Shout out to vegans, yes. So instead we are getting the vegan Cobb salad and they actually don't have popcorn shrimp anymore so we're getting the dynamite shrimp part of the cheesecake experience of course is the bread do you like the brown bread or the white bread better i like this one better sam fluffy hot straight out of the oven i probably like my women too yeah a little crusty on the outside <laughs> have you been to france no me neither <laughs> all right cheers cheers without sauce I mean, it's shrimp. And it's battered and fried. Oh, no, it's okay. Let's try a salad. Have you ever had a vegan salad before? Let me get some lentil. Ew, couscous. What is that, quinoa? I don't like quinoa. I'm gonna try a bite. Mm, that's I good. Gun to your head. Did Chris Paul have a night with Kim K? 100%. <laughs> right? I think so, too. Why would Kanye even say that? There's so many more handsome people in this world that he could have shot at. <laughs> The dressing is good. The portion size is ridiculous. Very colorful, a lot of variety, a lot of beans, 
I'm just mixture of salad, quinoa, tomatoes. 1v1 versus Chris Paul. Me versus Chris Paul? He's pretty old now. I think I'd probably beat him 11 zip. Damn, he's an NBA player. There's no place in the NBA. So to be a professional at something, you get paid to do it, right? I get paid to play basketball. I'm also a professional basketball player. Be for real. What are you thinking about the Cheesecake Factory? Very underwhelming. Unexpectedly mid. I know they have more better food at Cheesecake. They got the pastas. We kind of got the Chris Paul order, but I wasn't feeling it. I'm going to give that a C tier? I agree with you. It was delicious, but you, your soul isn't full. Now we're going to a place, Fogo de Chao. Let's go. So NBA players love Fogo de Chao because they have large private back rooms and they get a lot of food. They need their privacy. There's a lot of fans trying to do a lot of fan photos and, and stuff. When you're a LeBron James, you don't want to pull up to Fogo de Chao and then see me and you there. Oh my God, it's Jeff and James. They're going to ask for like 50 photos of me. How many times have me and you used LeBron James in thumbnails? Back. He knows that me and you are slimy. I'm excited for Pogo to Chow. Are you getting full? I'm going hard. Jeff, are you ready? I'm ready. Jeff and I, we just came at 11.30, so we have the whole restaurant to ourselves. This is the biggest private room I've ever seen. So the way Pogo to Chow works is they're just gonna bring steak to the table over and over again until you tell them no thanks. Sounds good. Let's go check it out. Let me show y'all what we're all about here. We're gonna get some bacon. Yeah. Let me get a little prosciutto. Salami, my absolute favorite. All right, cheese. Oh my God, lox. Is this garlic? Oh, caprese, bro. James is moving. If you don't go crazy for caprese, you're not going right. This is a real salad right here, James. I know, that's why I'm avoiding this section. So these are Brazilian cheese breads. I'm messing with it. I got a little bit of green to make my trainer happy. Pesto sauce. Do you hate green? No, I like green food. It's just compared to red food. Bro, they have just roasted garlic. It's amazing. I love that. I don't know what it is, but I love this place. Here's the catch with this place, Jeff. We didn't even look at the menu. We have no idea how much we're paying for all this. That's how they get us. Salami is the one that I eat the most. Salami cheer? Cheers. Oh my God. Great salami. Salami is considered an ultra processed food. Oh yeah. So I actually took it out of my diet, but not today because I need to give Fogo de Chao a fair review. Is this bacon wrapped steak? Yes. What kind of steak is it? Filet mignon. I'll just take one. Thank you, my friend. Filet mignon wrapped bacon. Cheers. Cheers. I wish I got more than one. That is so good. I don't want to do a spoiler. I think this place is going to be an I didn't want to spoil it, but... Thank you, my friend. Sausage cheers. Mm. Not as good as the steak. It's missing a little flavor. It's missing a little salt. But slathered in pesto with the pesto is really good. I think I'm going to stop going on dating apps, Jeff, because I'm in love with these mashed potatoes. Fluffy, creamy, just like James so, likes it. Yeah, exactly. Garlic beef cheers. Cheers. Mm. Amazing. If you're a steak lover, oh my God. We're now headed to Kevin Johnson's Fixin' Soul Kitchen. We just came from Fogo de Chao, which was freaking amazing. I'm excited, bro. I haven't had soul food in quite a long time. I'm feeling mac and cheese, oh. fried chicken. Oh. So Kevin Johnson, he was a point guard on the 90s Suns. They went to the NBA Finals. They lost to Michael Jordan and the Bulls. All right, bro, Fixin', start with the biscuit. Fluffy. A little sweet, but just perfect. That's really good. But I like how it's moist where you can actually eat it. Brad chicken. I'm eating this like such a white person. Oh, okay. That's really good. I'm going for the crunchy bite. This is the best thing I've eaten all day. This is so good, bro. Yeah, I honestly think this might be the best fried chicken I've ever had. Oh yeah, big piece. Pretty good. And then when you mix the mac, like the yeah. combination you did. Yeah, I feel like the mac and cheese goes from like a B to like an S. We also got catfish bites. We've had dynamite shrimp. We've had popcorn chicken. Now we got basically popcorn catfish. It's pretty good. That's not the main star of the show. Six months from now, when I think back about this video, I'm gonna think about this chicken. No, I highly recommend this place. Didn't know this existed here, but I'm glad we found it. Jeff, I am stuffed, but we got a lot more restaurants to go to. Two word review of Kevin Johnson's Fixin' Soul Kitchen. Soul filling. Audaciously embarking. Hi, I'll be honest, I wanted to make up a new word, but I couldn't think of one. I feel like a lot of athlete restaurants get a bad rap. But today, everything has been amazing. Today, Shaq and Kevin Johnson? Great. What tier are you putting Kevin Johnson's Soul Kitchen into? Because I will say that the catfish appetizer was a little... It drew it down. I am putting it at S tier. Well, you know what? I'm also putting it in S tier. That place was great. It's right outside the Lakers stadium. So like if you're ever at a game, bro, go there. All right, guys. So we're here at Catch and they don't want us to be recording. So we're going undercover. Dude, I'm not even in this video. Man, that looks good.
Cheers, James. Let me get some of that sauce. Oh my god, this is amazing. Wait for me. So good. My meat stick looks great. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. Mm. Mm. This is wow. heaven. Oh Whoa. yeah. Eye contact. You feel that connection? Yes. Oh, I just want to stick it in my mouth again. Dude! <laughs> Chris, you're not even in this video, bro. Dude, but like, I can't take it anymore. You don't have to be inside of my inner monologue anymore. What did you think of Catch LA? The best restaurant I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it was incredible. One word to describe Catch LA. Yes. I'm gonna go heavenly. So I guess, where are you putting it on your tier list? S. S, yeah, I'm gonna S tier that. To me, that was by far the best restaurant. Where are we going next, James? We are going to Benny <laughs> Hana. Benny Hana? You want me to say that? Yeah. I can say that? Benny Hana! Yeah, we're just gonna get censored. Say whatever you want. Okay. Jeff, you did not just say that. Oh, oh my food. All right, we are here at Benny Hana. This is another favorite spot of NBA players. Everyone loves Benny Hana. Dinner and a show. So, funny story about Benny Hana. Apparently, Anthony Edwards, when he first came to Benny Hana, he didn't understand how it worked. So, he would just bring his own food to try to cook on the hot thing instead of letting them bring their own food. So, did you bring our, uh, did you bring our, our stuff? I forgot. We had to bring our own food? Yeah. We're doing the Anthony Edwards challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff, fried rice is here. I struggle to eat rice with chopsticks. So, let me see how you do it. I like to scoop it. Yeah, that was good. Is that good? I, it doesn't lot. feel right. I don't know. It's hot. It's so hot. I can see why NBA players want to eat here. All right, bro. We got the food. Yeah. Cheers. Ciao. Oh no, what it is about hibachi? Chicken just tastes better off a hibachi grill. These sauces are so good. So this is miracle sauce. It tastes like you just won the lottery. This is championship chowder sauce. Feels like your local NFL team just won the Super Bowl. I was full, but now I heard eating and I'm not full anymore. My stomach was like, wait, 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 man. We'll open the doors. We want some of that good good. All right, Jeff, what did you think of Benihana? It's a love-hate relationship. I'm a person that enjoys like a great dinner, but they took very, very long. I think we were there for like two hours. No, I like Benihana. It's pretty good. I don't know. It's a good time. How was the cost? But dinner to show, you know, around like 35 to 40 a person. I'm going to put Benihana in the B tier. B tier? You didn't say one bad thing about them. How did they go from- Well, B tier is good. Well, they made it an A tier. Well, if my chicken tasted better. Since you gave it a B, I'm going to settle with B. We never stop eating. We're here at Chipotle. I'm sure all of you know what Chipotle is like, so we're not really going to have to review Chipotle, but we are going to get Mikel Bridges' order. We got to keep it NBA themed today. We're going to review Mikel's bowl. Oh, they got a new limited time chicken. I want to try it so bad. Well, we could try the new chicken because he gets chicken. White rice, no beans. Can we do the chicken al pastor? We'll get hot salsa, corn, cheese, and guac. Oh, and lettuce. All right, Jeff, this is what Mikel Bridges eats. Mikel Bridges has been balling for the Brooklyn Nets. He has. Is this the secret to a uh, great basketball player? Freaking delicious, bro. Wow. That's so good. I'm surprised it gets the spicy um, salsa. Do you feel that kick of the spice in there? Just because you can't handle it doesn't mean he can't handle it. I know we didn't get his exact order because he gets the normal chicken and Chipotle just dropped the new chicken, but the new chicken is gas. Dude, this honestly is one of the best Chipotle bowls I've ever had. Is this making you rethink your Chipotle order? I think I have to do this order from now on. The combination just makes sense. All right, Chipotle. Where are you putting that on the tier list? Simple, probably the cheapest meal we had so far. That is gonna be, dare I say, S. Here. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Chipotle's an S tier. If you don't like Chipotle, I don't like you. Quick and simple. <laughs> okay. So there's three characteristics of a Chipotle hater. Lame as f <laughs> Probably was a loser growing up. Probably was a loser as an adult. Yeah. We're rating these restaurants based off taste and cost, because NBA players, they just got unlimited money. For me, I like going to Chipotle. It's pretty good. Not to be a Chipotle simp. If there was like a F Mary kill and the chicken was involved, I would marry that thing. I want a lifetime with it. So we're here at Ruth Chris. Now this is a steakhouse. A lot of NBA players love to come to Ruth Chris when on the road. It's a trustworthy steakhouse. Patrick Beverly said he spent $250,000 at Ruth Chris Steakhouse. How do you do that? But we're starting out with bread, which is good, because we can directly compare this to another NBA favorite the Cheesecake Factory. Question for the comments. Do you guys ever go eat by yourself? I eat by myself at sit-down restaurants a lot. Dude, 250000 at one restaurant. What restaurant do you think you spent the most money at? Dude, I'm pretty variety. I probably spent at least $10,000 at Sugarfish. Not as long as Ross can go eat alone too, right? I go alone a lot. I take dates a lot. I used to take you a lot. Dates and me, so. <laughs> but what do you think about the bread? Going <laughs> back to the food. Oh, the bread. The bread is really good. It's a great start for Ruth Chris. Now, Jeff, our first meal here at Ruth Chris. So we've been getting an app and an entree everywhere we go. 
That's really good. I don't know what that sauce is, but it's incredible. Oh, yeah. Kind of smoky. A little bit of lemon citrus because of the lime. Jeff and I wanted to live like Pat Bev, so we ordered a $120 steak. Here it is. Oh my God, the butter is sizzling. Oh, whoa, it cooks it slightly. Bro, literally, it does cook it when you put it on the plate. Very good, Jeff. Mmm. Mm. Wow, this filet looks so good. I personally like the filet. The filet side. So good. Oh my god. This is like the chef's caressing. It's more than a kiss. Pat Bev knows what he's talking about, bro. It might be hard to beat. All right, Jeff. Ruth Chris Steakhouse. What a time. What a time to be alive. That steak, dude, I loved how they seasoned the plate. The ahi tuna was fire. I'm going to give Ruth Chris an A. I agree. What's the difference between Ruth Chris and any other steakhouse? I feel like it didn't hit that extra level that I could put it in the S tier. Saying, I feel like, you know, like Mastro's, Fleming's, Ruth Chris, Big Plate Jidels, they're all kind of in the same tier of steakhouse. For NBA players, there should be a food guy. That should be our new business. Yes. We tell pro athletes where, to, where eat? to eat. You have more money than the three of us put together multiplied by 5,000, brother. What you eating at Cheesecake for, Chris Paul? So we've eaten at every restaurant. We're back in our nice clothes. You want to re-tier anything? I honestly think our tier list rating was perfect. I want to move Nobu down to a B. When you compared it to Catch, I feel like the price of Nobu really did kind of jump out a little bit. I could see it. We could disagree. We could disagree. Guys, make sure you check out Jeff's channel. He's also dropping bangers every single day. Do you actually upload every day? No. Fraud. See you guys in the next one. Peace.